are, Dickon. Didn't you hear me calling for you? Yes, I did. I was done talking with Miss Mary here. Oh, the young lady all the way from India? How nice. Welcome to Yorkshire, child. Please do my guards to your uncle. I have I didn't have any breakfast. Oh no breakfast, you poor thing. Mustn't go without eating. Doesn't do. I have some apples and cinnamon buns. I don't like cinnamon buns, but maybe an apple. An apple it is. You're my pale, Miss Mary. You could have a bit more color in your cheeks. Why does one section of the garden have a wall around it? You mean over there? Yes. I looked for the door a little while ago. Couldn't find it. The door's locked. The shrubs and vines have grown over it ten years ago. Then you know where it is. But if there's a locked door, then there must be a key. The master buried it when he locked the door out. He said no one was ever to go in there again. Why? Gracious child, didn't your uncle tell you? I haven't seen my uncle yet. I suspect he's not too happy I'm here. Why did he bury the key in the garden? Tell me! I suppose you have the right to know. There was a terrible accident. The garden was your aunt's favorite spot. She tended to it all by herself. Roses, mostly. She was just a bit of a girl. There was a tree with a branch, but like a seed. One day when she was sitting there, the branch broke and she fell to the ground. Hurt so bad, the next day she died. The doctor said Mr. Craven would go out of his mind if she would die, but he didn't. But that's why he hates the wall garden. He loved his Lilius. Lilius? That was your aunt's name. Some say she only married him because he was rich. Him and this cricket bath and all. But I think they loved each other dearly. Now he has nothing but hide himself away from the world. Traveling from here and there to forget. Poor man. It's very lonely in here. I don't see how you can say that, Miss. You haven't been here very long. It doesn't matter. I'm only no matter where I am. And I expect it always will be. Goodness, child, there's no way to look at things. Mother! Mother! It's Jane and Betty. Mother! That's Martha. <coughs> What's the basket? Cinnamon buns all wager. I love cinnamon buns. Better not let your nut up, Kaiser. Leave the apples. I'll take them back home with me. Make some tasty pies. Old men, poor Codger, broken like no blessing, but I couldn't leave without saying hello. Wait, you mean all these ser servants are your children? Yes, they're my children. Of course, they belong to Mr. Sarva, too. May he rest in heaven. How curious. And I suspect I should spend the rest of my days wandering around lonely and bored. Rubbish, child. I know what you should do. Get a bit of ground. Grow a garden. It'll do wonders for you. But I don't know anything about gardens. Let Deacon be your teacher, miss. He can be like a brother to you. I've never had a brother. Or a sister. I've got 15. <laughs> I know what we'll do, Miss Mary. That is, if you'd like. I don't mean to presume. What? We'll make you an honorary member of the Sourney family. Did you like that, Miss Mary? Well, it's the most curious composition. Hmm. I think I might like that. Thank you. Welcome to the family, Miss Mary. 